Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about create model migration and relationship for checkout. So let's see how can we create this. Uh, for checkout, we need uh, four tables. First table is for order. Second table is for order item. Third table is for address and uh, fourth table is for transaction. So let's create these tables model and migration uh, one by one so go to the command prompt and uh, first, uh, first of all let's stop the running application so press ctrl plus c now clear the screen and uh, let's create the model and migration uh, for the order so right here php artisan make colon model model okay and model name which is order a space uh, for creating the migration just write here that's n okay now hit enter okay model and migration created now let's create a model and migration for order item so right here order item that's m and now uh, for address just write here address okay that's m now hit enter and last one for transaction so right here transaction transaction that's m okay now hit enter all model and migration created now uh, switch to the project and let's open the order all uh, orders table migration okay so go inside the database directory then migration and from here let's open this one orders table create orders table migration and inside this migration or uh, inside this orders table schema let's add here some column so add here these columns okay let's see one by one each column this is the user id column okay subtotal discount tax total name phone locality address city state country uh, landmark zip code okay zip and type uh, uh, this is for address type uh, home type or other okay and this one for a status order status which is either ordered delivered or cancelled and it's shipping different this is the boolean value column okay and deliver date cancel date and here is the timestamp okay and last one is for uh, foreign key relation with the user table okay now save this this is our orders table now let's open the order items table and here let's add the add these columns okay just remove this timestamp first is the product id okay another one is order id price quantity options uh, are status okay and this one is the timestamp and these two are the foreign key one uh, foreign key is for product ID which is references on ID with products table okay and this one for uh, references with the August table okay now save this now let's open the addresses table and uh, here let's add the following columns this this one okay uh, user ID name phone locality address city address city uh, and then a state country landmark zip type is default okay and uh, here is the foreign key for user user ID okay with the user still now save this and now let's, let's open the last one transaction and inside the 
from the Excel schema. Let's add these columns. Okay. First is user ID, uh, ID, user ID, order ID, and uh, payment mode, which is either COD, card, or PayPal. And the status, either pending, approved, declined, or refunded. Okay. And here is for timestamp. And uh, let's remove this timestamp. And these are the reference of user's table reference and order's table reference okay now save save this now let's migrate this migration okay so go to the command prompt and uh, here just clear the screen and just run the command php artisan migrate okay now hit enter migration done now switch to the project and uh, let's add the uh, let's open the models so go to the app directory models and uh, from here let's create uh, order model so just open this one order.php and inside this model uh, let's create here three function uh, first create public function and the user function okay and inside this just return dollar this arrow belongs to and pass here the users model okay so right here user column column class okay and now Add here another function public function and function name order item items okay and then return dollar this arrow set here the uh, one to many relationship so right here has many and inside this just pass in the order item order, order item column column class okay and last one for transaction so right here function transaction and here return dollar this and one order uh, has one transaction so just write here has one relationship and transaction table transaction column column class okay now save this now next uh, let's open the product model okay so let's open this one here already added in the category and brand okay now let's open the order item this one this model so let's create here public function and uh, first create here the function for product product okay and inside this just return dollar this arrow belongs to and pass here the product class product model class okay product column column class and uh, one more function here for order so right here public function and function name order and just return dollar this arrow belongs to order model order column column class okay save this now let's open the address model
transaction model okay so let's open the transaction model and here just write here public function and function name order and just pass your enter dollar this arrow belongs to order class okay now save this now everything is done okay related to the model migration and uh, relationship for the checkout okay we have created all four model and migration and all set the relationship with the models okay so in this way you can create model and migration uh, for the checkout so that's all about creating model and migration for checkout so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.